Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to understand how to create get response contact on Razorpay payment. So I run an online coaching business and I use Razorpay as my payment gateway to receive new payments for my business. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive new payment through Razorpay, then automatically the customer who made the payment should be added as a new contact in my get response account so that I can follow up with my customers further. So here to automate this entire process, I need to connect my razor pay with my get response account using an automation software named as Pabli connect so to learn this process step by step let me take you to my screen welcome to my screen so as i've already mentioned in my introduction that as the owner of an online coaching business i use razor pay to handle my payment processing so by setting up an automatic workflow to create a contact in my get response whenever a payment is made i can easily manage my new clients this ensures they are added to my email list right away allowing me to send them a welcome email an important course information which helps me provide a seamless onboarding experience and build a strong relationship from the start so here to automate this entire process i need to connect my razor pay account with my get response account using an automation software named as pabli connect so pabli connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly you can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens it's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff plus it keeps everything organized and error free so you can focus on growing your business hustle free so this is the home page of pabli connect and you can visit it by simply browsing for the url pabli.com slash connect here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free if you're a new user click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software and if an existing user click on sign in here i'm an existing user so i'm clicking on sign in now after signing in here you can see all pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of pabli here to integrate my applications i'm going to use pabli connect now this is the dashboard of pabli connect and here to build my connection i need to create a workflow first so for that here i'm going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner now here in this create workflow dialog box i have to give a name to my workflow so then i'm going to give the name as create get response contact on razor pay payment and now i'm going to select my folder as automations you can select the folder as per your need also you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly and now here to learn how to create a new folder inside public connect you have to click on this learn more link given over here and by clicking on this it will take you to a forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder inside pabli connect so now moving back to my pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow i'm going to click on this create button given over here now here in this workflow window you can see we have successfully created a workflow and here on my screen you can see the two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action where trigger says when this happens and action says do this that means action is a response towards a trigger now automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger so i'm going to select my trigger application as razor pay because i'm using razor pay as my payment gateway to receive new payments through my customers. So Razor Pay is a popular online payment gateway in India that makes it easy for businesses to accept payments from customers. Think of it as a bridge between your bank and your customers, allowing them to pay using various methods like credit cards, debit cards, net banking, UPI and more. People use Razor Pay because it's user friendly, secure and supports a wide range of payment options. Plus it offers additional features like recurring payments, payment links and invoicing, making it a versatile solution for businesses of all sizes. Whether you are running an online store or offering services, Razor Pay helps you handle payments smoothly and efficiently. So here in my Razor Pay trigger step, I'm going to select my trigger event as 
payment captured so that whenever we are going to receive a new payment through our Razor Pay, then automatically Public Connect is going to capture the response. Or you can say automatically this entire workflow is going to get triggered. And now here after selecting my trigger event, you can see we have received a webhook URL. That means here I'm going to use this webhook URL to connect my Razor Pay with Public Connect. So I'm following the instructions given below. Firstly, I'm going to copy this webhook URL and here I've already logged in my Razor Pay account. So this is my Razor Pay account and from here I'm going to click on this account and settings given the left side bar and here under account and settings I'm going to select website and app settings and here under website and app settings I'm going to select the option of webhooks over here. Now here under webhooks I'm going to add a new webhook by clicking on this add new webhook button given over here. And then here under webhook setup, it is asking me to enter the webhook URL. So here I need to enter the webhook URL that I've received in my Pabli's workflow. So I'm going to enter the webhook URL. And now here after entering the webhook URL, here it is asking me to select the active events. So here in this active events field, I need to select that particular event for which I want to set up this webhook. Or you can see for which I want to receive a response at that particular webhook URL over here. So here in this active events, I need to select the event similar to the one that I've selected in my trigger event event for Pabli's workflow. So I'm going to select my event as payment captured and now I'm going to click on this create webhook over here. And here you can see it says webhook saved successfully. That means we have successfully set up a webhook inside our Razor Pay account. Or you can say we have successfully connected our Razor Pay account with Pabli Connect. So now let's move back to our Pabli's workflow. And here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response. That means here to receive a webhook response, we need to do a test submission. And to do a test submission, we need to make a test payment through our Razor Pay payment page. So for that, let me take you to my payment page. So this is my course payment page that I've created using Razor Pay. And here I'm I'm going to enter some dummy data and do a test submission. So you can see that my payment is in a test mode over here. So I'm going to make a test payment. So here for the first name, I'm going to enter the name as dummy, last name as user, email as dummy at the rate publitudes.com. And here for the phone number, I'm going to enter a random phone number. And then I'm going to click on this pay. And here you can see that my payment is in a test mode. So here I'm going to select my payment method as UPI. And here I'm going to enter a random UPI. And now here after entering the UPI, I'm going to click on this verify and pay. And here you can see we have successfully made a payment over here. That means we have successfully made a new payment through our Razor Pay payment page. So now let's go back to our Pabli's workflow. And here you can see as we have received a successful response where we have received the UPI ID. Here you can see the status as captured. Here you can see the order ID, phone number, last name as user, first name as dummy. Here you can see the email and some other details as well. So with this, we have successfully set up our trigger over here. So now here after receiving a new payment to our Razor Pay, I want to add the customer who has made the payment to my get response account as a new contact. So for that here in this action step, I'm going to select my action application as get response so get response is an all-in-one online marketing tool that helps businesses grow through email marketing automation and website creation people use get response to create and send emails building landing pages set up automated campaigns and even host webinars it's popular because it combines multiple marketing tools in one easy to use platform making it simple to connect with customers generate leads and increase sales whether you're promoting a product building an email list or engaging with your audience. GetResponse provides the tools to make it happen. So here in my GetResponse action step, I'm going to select my action event as create a contact. So that whenever we are going to receive new payments through our Razor Pay, then automatically that customer should be added as a new contact in my GetResponse account as well. And now here to connect my GetResponse with Public Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your get response account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, it is asking me to enter the API key. So here in the help text, it says enter your API key. You can find your API key from here. So here you can see we have received a hyperlink for the API key. So here I'm directly going to click on it. And here you can see it has directed me to the API window of my get response account because here I was already logged in my get response account. So I'm going to generate a new API key by clicking on this generate API key button. And then here it is asking me to give a name to my API key. So I'm going to give the name as new contact and then I'm going to click on this generate. And here you can see we have received the API key. So I'm going to copy it moving back to my Pabli's workflow and here I'm going to enter the API key. Now here after entering the API key, I'm going to click on the save given over here. 
and here you can see we are now successfully connected so now moving forward and then here it is asking me to select the campaign so i've created two campaigns in my account with the name connect pab and info so pabs so i'm going to select my campaign which is named as connect pab and now here after selecting this particular campaign i'm going to scroll it little down and here as per the list selected my new contacts are going to be added in this particular list in my get response account so now here it is asking me to enter the name email and some other details so here instead of entering these details manually here i'm going to map the data mapping data means insert data from previous step that means here i'm going to map the data from the response that i've received in my trigger step mapping makes the text dynamic so that whenever we are going to receive new payment through our razor pay then automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one so i'm going to search for the name so this is the first name space the last name moving forward here for the email i'm going to search for the email so this is my leads email so i'm going to map it moving forward here this ip address and day of cycle is not required field so i'm going to leave them blank and then here for the tag id i'm going to select the tag id which i've already created with the name google form and you can create your own tag id in your get response account and then from here you can select it as per your need so now you have to selecting the tag id scrolling little down here this amount birth date city are not required field so i'm going to leave them blank but if you want to add any other detail then you can do it as per your need and here for the phone number i'm going to map the phone number that i've received so i'm going to search for the phone number so this is the phone number so i'm going to map it and now here after entering all the required details i'm going to click on the save and send test request given over here and here you can see we have received a successful response that means we have successfully created a new contact in our get response account for the new payment received in our razor pay so now let's go and check it and i'm going to refresh it and here you can see we have successfully created a new contact with the email as dummy at the rate publitudes.com and the name as dummy user. So with this we have successfully set up our automation. Now let's test our automation to check whether it is working or not. So to test our automation what we are going to do is that we are going to make another test payment in our Razor Pay using our Razor Pay payment page. So for that let me take you back to my payment page. Here I'm going to refresh it. And again here I'm going to enter some dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the first name I'm going to enter the name as testing, last name as lead, email as testing at the rate publitudes.com. Here for the phone number I'm going to enter random phone number and then I'm going to click on this pay. Again here I'm going to make a test payment so for that I'm going to select the payment method as UPI and here I'm going to enter the UPI ID and then I'm going to pay the amount. And here you can see the payment has been successful over here. So now let's go and check our get response account to see whether we have created a new contact or not. So I'm going to refresh it. And here you can see we have successfully created a new contact over here with the email as testing at the rate publitudes.com and the name as testing lead. So with this we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as razor pay and our action as get response. So that whenever we are going to receive new payment through our razor pay payment page then automatically that customer is going to add as a new contact in our get response account as well. Okay so these were the steps to how to create get response contact on raise the pay payment and now if you want to use the same workflow then you can find the clone link in the description box below i hope you like the video thanks for watching not only these applications you can integrate many other applications with pabli connect so now if you have any doubt then you can email us at support at the rate pabli.com and if you have any query then you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue then you can simply visit our website that is www.pabli.com so now if you liked our video then please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.